Hello everyone, and thank you for checking out this month's quick tip. Today we're going to be talking about how to create realistic frosted glass-like materials. Now the material type we're going to use to create this look is the advanced material. I'll double click on the Keyshot material ball back here to pull up the material properties, and I'm going to change this from diffuse over to advanced. Now in case you don't see all these parameters under your advanced material, you'll want to make sure that show advanced settings is enabled under the preferences. If you go to Edit, Preferences, and ensure this box is checked, you should see all the parameters that I currently have here. The first step in creating this frosted glass material is to turn up the specular transmission. You can think of specular transmission as a fancy word for transparency. Black is going to be completely opaque, and white is going to be completely transparent. So if I click on the color and make it all the way white, I have essentially a completely transparent material but notice that it is very overexposed. What I can do to fix that is go up to the diffuse color and turn that all the way down. Now, to get rid of these black edges, what you'll want to go ahead and do is click on the specular color and start to increase that. I'll go ahead and make that all the way white. Next, to start disrupting the interior roughness of this to create that frosted look, you'll want to use Roughness Transmission. If I hover over the slider, the tooltip shows what it does. Interior Surface Roughness for Transmission. Notice the word interior. So when I apply this roughness, it's not something that's being applied to the exterior. So any reflections you have on the outside of this material aren't going to be perfectly sharp. But this roughness is actually occurring on the inside of this material so that anything you see on the other side becomes cloudy. And of course, the higher that you uh, crank up this setting, the more uh, internal roughness that you get and the cloudier that your material will become. Let's go ahead and copy this material and paste it to some of the other spheres in this scene. So I'll press Shift, left click, and shift right click to paste it on this other sphere back here. And let's talk about if we want to add color um, into our frosted material. If I double click on this, the way you want to add color is through the specular transmission. So if I wanted this to be a blue frosted, I would change the specular transmission color to something that's like a bright blue. As I go even darker, on here, this material does become less transparent. So keep that in mind when you are choosing colors. Let's turn the roughness transmission down on this a bit so we can see through this material a little bit more. And we'll apply different levels of roughness transmission to these other spheres up front so we can sort of see the uh, different effect that the different levels have. So I'll copy and paste this material, and we'll change this color over to, say, a green. And let's turn up our roughness transmission a bit more, so we're essentially getting more of a cloudy material. Now, the other uh, point I would like to illustrate while I'm working on this particular material here is, again, this roughness transmission is being applied to the interior of the material, not on the surface. If we look right here on this sphere, you can see a sharp reflection of the uh, environment lighting. Now, if I turn up the roughness, that's affecting the surface of the material, the outer surface. So that's actually going to start to break up uh, any sharp reflections that occur on the material. And I'll turn that back down so we do have a smooth result. And let's copy and paste this to the other sphere. And I'll change this color to more of a yellow. And we'll increase roughness transmission a bit more. And we'll continue to go around. Uh, changing color and increasing roughness transmission. All 
All right, so essentially what we should have here are several different uh, frosted material types with this one being the most clear and this one being the most cloudy. I'll go ahead and render this image out and I'll include it on this quick tip page so you can have it for your reference. I'll also include the uh, roughness transmission values that each material had. Thank you and we'll see you next month for the next quick tip.